We are here today to check out some more cricket. But should we just call it like Cricket Tuesday or something like that? <laughs> cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. Cricket Tuesday. It's so true though. Okay, well first so of all, true. Mitch Johnson, Brett Lee, MS Doney, with all that boring stuff out of the way, this is a very important <laughs> momentous occasion. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And Gabe and I are bringing you another episode of Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, wow, oh. That was lackluster. lackluster. And it's fitting that it was a little lackluster because real quick, I got a poll for you real quick. We'll probably throw on the community page and everything. We are thinking now that Boring Reviews is going very strong in its direction and Cricket for Americans is going very strong in this direction. There's for us, it's making less and less sense to do Cricket Tuesdays on Born Reviews. We're thinking about switching that over to Cricket for Americans. Let us know, please, in the comment section. First of all, I got two questions for you. Are you a subscriber of both channels? And would you like to see Cricket Tuesday over on CFA? Let us know. Comment below. We'll do a poll as well. But this could be potentially, potentially our final yeah. Cricket Tuesday on Born Reviews. So we're gonna do something a little different for our final one. It's gonna be a kind of a CFA action. Gabe, what are we doing today? All right, so as you can see, I got the IPL gear on right over here. My 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 uh, CSK Super Knights, right? The Ch Chennai Chennai Super Kings, and um, oh, the champions! Oh no, the champions! And guys, it's going into auction season, okay? So they've got today is November first. Basically, they've got the next thirty days from today till November thirtieth to make their selections on who they're going to retain, which is huge specifically this year because there's two new teams or two new franchises being added to the IPL. And for the uninitiated, the IPL is the biggest domestic tournament in cricket, okay? Players from all over the world are retained there. It's the most profitable tournament. I mean, everybody and their mother wants to play in the IPL. And uh, it's a lot of good competition, a lot of fun. Um, Nick and I both follow it. Last year, his Mumbai Indians won. This year, my Chennai Super Kings won. So, and just before you guys get in the comments, those of you who aren't a follower of both channels, we both selected the teams prior to last year's selection. All right. That was like when we first started walking, watching cricket, we decided which teams, which franchises we were going to go Two with. years, baby. So with that being said, uh, 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 you know, Nick, I, I know you want to give them um, the uh, direct. It's going to be a little bit of a different video, but it's going to talk about we did a mini auction. And it was on CFA, guys. That was one of the funniest things ever. We were on there chatting with people, losing our minds. People were losing their minds with selections when guys were getting way overpriced and other guys went really, really cheap. And I think, like, it's such a unique thing. I don't think any American sport has anything close to the auction, which is why we were so intrigued about it. We're super excited for the mega auction instead of the mini auction. Ooh. Yeah, the mega auction, for all intents and purposes, I'm hearing – January or December, so just a few months away. So we're going to be talking about who we think each squad's going to retain. We're going to go through all eight existing IPL squads, who they're going to retain. We're not going to get into who we think, who we predict is going to be on the new franchise. But basically the rules are thus. Four players can be retained. You either have three Indian players and one overseas or two and two. Right. And after those players are retained, where's the deadline should be November 30th, then the new franchises are able to pick any three, a maximum of any three players before the auction starts of anyone that wasn't retained. Right. So if you don't retain yourself a Jasper Boomer, which you'd be insane not to, then he can go to the new franchise to be the face right. of that franchise. Right. And so, and with each of the players you retain, you get a certain, a certain amount of guarantee money for those players that are retained in the order retained in. If you don't retain four, then you lose some of the purse money that goes to the total budget. All the budgets have been increased. I think this is the biggest budget for each team, biggest right. purse, all that kind of stuff. So we are going to talk about who we have in this retention process. Please interact with us. Comment below after you like and subscribe. And let us know who you got for each squad. We would love to see your run rundown. Let us know if you agree with us. Like Gabe said, we got two years under our belt. And plus, there's going to be some factors here, Gabe. Before we get to the squads, let me get some factors to you. Renelle asked us on Instagram. She says, Josh Butler's losing his mind, right? As we're recording this, another century or a century for uh, the game against Sri Lanka. She said, do you think he's going to get a lot of money next year? And that makes me think. Okay, tell me if you disagree or agree. People are going to be making money or losing money based on performance in this World Cup. Because guess uh, what? 
it ends this month, correct? Right, right, right. And right. then they're, they're figuring out the retain right now. So Josh Butler's going crazy left and right, left and right. All these teams, they're putting them on their board right now. They're putting yeah. on their board. The um the Royals, right? The Royals are like, we got to keep this guy. He's got to be retained. So right. a lot of guys are going to be making some money in this IPL because the World Cup's in here right now. What do you think about that? No, you're absolutely right. And, and to, to, you know, to, to, you know, one up you on that or not one up you but to 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 kind of um piggyback on that thought last year moin ali you know in one in one game lost his absolute mind right he yeah. had like six sixes in and over and people were laughing like oh that's his uh, audition for the ipl he was like one of the third or fourth highest highest played players in, in the mini auction or whatever, because that's just what it is. You know what I mean? Recency bias, all that good stuff. Yeah, I could see Josh Butler uh, um, because of how well he's performed lately being kept because it's like if you let him go, you're not going to get him back. But then it's tough because you look at it and say, okay, who am I going to keep? Do you want to keep so many overseas players? So it's a very interesting dynamic, and I'm just excited to talk about it. Absolutely. Um, I got one thing wrong. Let me just fix this real quick. Each team's going to have a fixed purse of 90 crores each. And if a team retains four players, then a total of 42 crore will be deducted for those players. And then three players, a total of 33. So all those things out of the way, I'm ready to get right into the squads. And so Gabe and I have already made our selections. We're going to be reading from our squads. We have not shared our selections with one another. Right. We're going to start with CSK. And as the resident CSK fan, why don't you start us off? Well, the champions, champions are actually in a tough situation this year because Ooh, MS Doni, for all intents and purposes, should be retiring. But he hasn't announced it yet. And they've got like 30 days to make oh. up their, his mind. He should be going out on his swan song, showing go, going out on top. With that being said, I have to plan as if the guy wants another year. Let's be honest. No athlete knows when to walk away. Then the majority of them don't, okay? They always retire way too late. So with that being said, you got to spend one of your attentions on MS Doni. Now, if MS Doni's not retained, I'll have a backup. But for me, it's going to be really simple. You're going to go with Rotary Kaikwad, all right? The young boy, emergent Indian batsman, opener. The guy last year came out, last three uh, games of the season. He scored like 50 runs each game consecutively, which had never been done for CSK by any player. And then, or, or three half centuries, I should say. Same thing, 50 runs, three half centuries. And then this year, he went off again, won himself the uh, the, the the yellow cap. So you're getting at the orange uh, okay, yellow cap cheese. The orange cap. You the wish. Cap, you right? wish. We didn't call it the yellow cap, though. He won himself the orange cap, so which means he had the most runs scored. The guy was a monster. We're going to keep him. We're going to keep his uh, his partner in crime, Bob the Places. He finished second in the yellow cap, okay? He leads the young boy. Uh, um, they have a great partnership together. Fav still has another year or two under his belt, in my opinion. And I think you end up keeping Fav. Jadeja. Jadeja may be the best all-rounder in the world. You, he's probably going to take over for as captain if MS, MS Doni does end up retiring. So for me, I end up keeping Jadeja. And that's my four, MS Doni, Rutherich Guy Quad, Fafta the Places, and Jadeja. Now, if MS Doni retires, that's when it gets interesting because you really want to build your team with the core of Indian uh, 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 players because that uh, will allow you to, to you know be more flexible in the auction with who you're going to get. And a lot of people like Deepak Chahar as a bowler. You want to kind of get a bowler in there. But I like uh, 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 Takor, bro. I like Lord Takor, Shirul Takor, because the guy can absolutely rake too. Wow. And I would go with Takor over Deepak Chahar. I wouldn't go with Dwayne Bravo because I think he could just, he's getting older. I think he could just get, get him back in the auction cheaper. So for me, those are my retentions. Nick? Wow. So we have, ba we have the same identical first four if MS Doni is coming back. And he, he's going to have to make an announcement. Do not retain me. I am retired. Because if not, they're in a tough spot. They've got to keep him. And I know most fans will say they're not in that tough spot. He's fantastic. They're in a tough spot. Um, Faf, again, he, I don't want to do the age thing. But he's getting older. But you've got to keep him in there. He's just, he just like you said, second the orange cap. If MS Doni doesn't go in, I would take Shahar over the curve. Just because it's going to be a running theme for me established bowlers, established pacers or established spitters, but especially established pacers, you got to have him. And Deepak Shahar is that anchor for that squad. I understand why you would go with the Kerr. He's more of that, like, what have you done for me lately type pick, but I got to go with Shahar. But everything else is exactly the same. And you guys will notice on the little screenshots I have here of our picks, 
certain names are left out that were on the squads this year, that's because I'm sorry, but those guys have no chance of being the retained players. All right. So let's go on to DC. I'll go ahead and start with DC. So a lot, man, it's so, it's so tough. Cause you look at the roster. You just ask yourself how they not won a championship the last yeah. two years. Wow. Right. Yeah. But this is going to be one of the few squads. Cause then I'm going to go with two overseas, two Indian players, because wow. if I'm an IPL team, I want to have all Indian players because the superstar Indian players, you got to have them, right? Right. But this team, I got to stick with two, and I'm going with bowlers. Oh, I feel so gross about it, so nasty. Ooh, ooh, I'm taking K- Kagiso Rabada and Anarik Norkia. I'm retaining those guys. I'm, I'm not doing any particular order for any of these lists, but I'm retaining those guys. I'm retaining Rashad Pont, and I'm res- retaining Dewan. It was really tough to leave off Shaw. It was tough to leave off um, Shreyas Iyer for crying out loud, the former captain. It was tough for me to leave off Chris Wilkes. I can't no, believe you left off Chris Wilkes. Now but, I know you took it seriously. But you got to remember, I'm not a DC fan, right? Yeah, I like yeah. DC. I have nothing against them, but I'm not a fan of their squad. So hopefully Chris Wilkes can go somewhere else, right? To the promised land. But those are the four I got. I got two overseas, which is so tough to do. You, you And that's not that they're going to lose Shaw. They got to pay for him. Right. You don't want to lose any Indian players that are of that caliber. Right. So, so for me, dude, I had to go with the same players you mentioned, but I'm the bowling guy. I didn't go with a uh, 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 Rabada. I, ch- I, I, I was wow. I switch it up. Didn't Ooh, go with this year. You're done, didn't baby. Go didn't go with Rabada. I went with Pritby Shaw, who's already got the opening Tough. partnership I with Sugar you. Darwin, along with yeah. the captain, Rashid Pant, and then Norkia. I had to go with that strong Indian core of batsmen. You got to go with R- Rashad Pant, who's your captain, right? And wicketkeeper. And just the partnership between Shaw and Sugar Darwin is so dynamic, bro. I don't want to break that up, okay? They had, like, the, the highest partnership other than CSK's opening partnership this season. They did the same thing the year before that. I love these guys. And I, why Norkia versus Rabada? I just feel like Rabada is 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 he wasn't as effective as Norkia was, in my opinion, to, especially in the second half of the year. So more recency bias there. And I'd rather have Norkia. That's just, you know, my, 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 my preference. Let me just say something of that real quick, because I have not looked into it, and I'll trust uh, your information there about the second most productive opening partnership. I felt like in every single match, one of those two guys was not lasting 20 balls. That's right. how it seemed like to me, because you, you had to pick your poison. One was going to last 50 balls or more. One right. of them was not. And so I think there's, I think it's actually an issue with the opening partnership. I don't know if they don't gel well. They're both big run scorers, so I think you get right. big scores by default. But I don't think they have the chemistry, so I don't – I don't want to say goodbye to Prithvi Shaw because you're like, you got to get, you're right. You got to get some openers, Indian openers, but there's, I don't know. Maybe it was just this year, but I, I respect right. your pick because Prithvi Shaw, he was, I had five on accident. He was the first one I had to take off because he's too dynamic. For sure. For sure. For sure. Now going to go to my squad, my second squad. Okay. The mistress <laughs> KKR. KKR is, is bro. They're this, this team is so unpredictable and yes. they went from last to first and it was all because of the uh, captaincy of owen morgan and it absolutely was or morgan may arguably be the best captain or one of the best captains period and then you know people were saying oh well that's only because he follows the plan of uh of of uh who's that uh come not cummins who's the the the, the coach there uh yeah, yeah. it's uh mccullum mccullum you're right uh, is is he following the plan now in um the the the, the world championship? What are the English so far? Six and zero, oh. and Owen Morgan still mad scientist opening up with spinners sometimes, doing whatever he wants to do. So he's just such a good captain. It's hard to keep him off, Nick. It really, really is, and that puts me in a situation where I'm sick to my stomach. So true. I'm sick to my stomach but I'm going to leave him off. I'm going to go with Andre Woo! Russell because Andre Russell is going to be – you may not get him back if you drop him, okay? Chubman Gill, who I think is the Indian batsman opener, he's going to be the future captain of this team. I know it's too young to give it to him now, but you're going to have to give it to him now or or maybe Russell, but you don't really want to deal with the overseas captain. You got to go with Varun Chakrabarti. Varun Chakrabarti is such an unbelievable spinner, unbelievable bowler. You need good bowlers. And, and to round up my Indian team, I got to go with Venkatesh Iyer. It was between him and Owen Morgan. But Venkatesh Iyer either took wickets 
or gave you 30, 40 runs, sometimes half centuries, almost yeah. every game since he came back up. You got to keep him. So to me, those are the guys I'm going to retain. How about you, Nick? Oh, ooh, I love it. I love it so much. So I I went the other route because Owen Morgan is so weird. He can honestly be like the first guy you retain or the guy you don't retain at all. He's that kind of player. And even for England today, I'm watching this match that England was able to come back and beat Schwank when I thought they were going to lose. And Owen Morgan was like six runs on 15 balls. And I'm losing my mind. I'm like, he's garbage. Why is he on the squad? <laughs> and then he goes six, six, four. And I'm like, he got hot. you just he saved got your hot. job. You just saved your job. But um, I have him. I'm retaining him because, wow. like you said, he helped captain them to a champion – or not to champion – to the finals. Right. And you, you can't you can't replace a, ch- a captain too easily. I got Shubman Gill. I got Chakravathi. And I got Venkatesh Iyer. Um, so I don't have Russell. Which of those four did you not go with? Because I can't remember now. Oh, I Owen didn't, Morgan. Didn't go with Owen so, Morgan. Yeah, so we have the other same three guys because you got to have Gil. He's, he's your future. Right. Chakravati is one of the most elite spinners out there. And Venkatesh Iyer. If they don't retain him, if I'm sorry, but if they're too dumb to retain to not retain him, oh, man, he's going to be the hottest Go at the party, man. I mean, it's gonna. Be, hey, come over here. Have some drinks with us. It's on us because this guy is a stud. He did nothing but impress. Even if he is a fluke, he's getting paid, baby. Right. So sure. please don't retain him. And RCB will, will welcome open arms. And Mumbai was like, "We have more superstars on our team. Please, I'll come on. Him. I'll take him. Yeah. <laughs> so let's Nick. go to Mumbai. Speaking of Mumbai, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, your squad, Mumbai. I'm yeah. interested because they've got just about as many good players oh. as DC. It's a nightmare. I want to see what you're going to do. It's tough. I It's super tough right now. Let me let me start with the easy one. Sharma and Boomer. There's no even question about it. No thinking about those guys. Got to have your captain. You got And you got to have uh, Boomer, your, your top pacer. After that, it's super tough because you have so many players that you can make arguments for. You really can. There's about five or six players you can make arguments for. But I'm going with two overseas in addition to those two. Trent Bolt. I know. I'm, I'm going back between Ishan Kishin, who's not my retain list, and Trent Bolt. Trent Bolt was not a, even a shadow of himself last year. But that's the same thing that happened when he was on D.C., let him go. And he was a monster with Mumbai. I think it was D.C. So I'm going to give him another chance. Him and Boomer, you're talking about opening partnership, opening Pacer partnership. Give me a break. Right. And then Quentin DeCock. Quentin DeCock. Personally, didn't love the situation that happened with the kneeling. I really didn't. And, and I thought it was going to have bigger reverberations than it seems to have had, right? But he made a statement, and he's too talented to not retain at this point. Right. He's a wicket keeper. He's got skills there. He can open. He's too talented, and I would put him above Ishan Kishin as far as who you got to have on your squad. So that rounds up my top four, but it was close. Ishan Kishin is my first guy out. That means, sorry, Pollard, sorry, Pandya's brothers, sorry, Rahul Shahar, um, sorry, Sky. I know you're going to pick Sky. I already know that. Oh, but, I mean, but, I mean, too many guys to let out, to let out. So, this is how much I love this team. And, and, and I, couldn't, I couldn't pick a bowler, bro. I, I, other than Boomra, I could not pick a bowler. It was so tough. I'm like, wow. Boomra, Trent Bolt. I mean, dude, they are stacked. You know, NCN, you know I love me some Nathan Colton now. But it was brutal, bro. I had to go with Boomer, but it was just like by default, Absolutely. bro. But it was so yeah. tough. So uh, real quick, I went with Rohit Sharma, the captain, of course. I went with Jasper Boomer. Of course, Sky, baby. Come on now. You know I'm going with Sky. Syria, come here, Yada. And how did you not take Pollard? You want to get Pollard? You want to get Pollard? Listen, every single team does is praying that the Mumbai Indians don't go with Pollard because they've all been Pollard at some point. And guys, definition of a Pollard is okay. It's we use Pollard is not just a uh, noun; it's also an adjective. It describes getting <laughs> pumped. All right, it describes getting pumped in and over. It's also a verb. Months. It's also a verb, <laughs> okay? <laughs> An action verb. I know. Get I'm being Pollard, really risky cousin. there because I know it's wow. going to happen. He does it every time. Wow. I would not risk getting Pollard, brother. So that's why the only reason I think that Mumbai keeps him is because of that. So Rohit, <laughs> B- Boomer, Pollard, and Sky. Uh, uh, I could see them going with uh, Quentin DeCock because you're right. You know, 
wicket keepers are hard to come by. And I just think that they might want to stay away from the controversy. I think if you go between Ish and Kishin and Sky, you go Sky, no questions asked. Ish and Kishin to me is way too inconsistent. But that's just uh, my opinion on that. But uh, Nick. Interesting. Now, the Punjab Kings. Very huh. interesting team. Yeah. Very interesting team. This team, you're going to say right now, I must give you a disclaimer. I'm not going to retain their best player, and I'm going to tell you why. Because I've been told players can turn down retentions, okay? And although everybody's going to say, no, what? No KO Raul? He's already come out and say he does not. He wants out. So if I go, if I'm pretty Zinta, and I go ahead and blow a retention on KO Raul, and he decides to say, no, I don't want it. No, thank you. That I just wasted my retention, right? So I, I don't know. Maybe you think of it differently. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. But I'm going with Mayak Argawal. I'm going with uh, uh, Muhammad Shami, all right? Even though Shami's a little older in the tooth, Muhammad Shami had actually a really good season in the IPL. So I'm going with Shami. Go with the bowling. I'm going with Bishnoi. I think Bishnoi is one of the most talented, absolute talented young bowlers. I don't know why it took, like, till game eight for them to bowl him again this year. Hint, hint. Figure it out. Figure it out, okay? And then for me, I was I was torn between two players because I need an overseas player. And, and man, you know I want to say you know, the universe boss, but I don't even think he wants to be there because of how they treated him. I, I just think it's at, at this point, just, you know, just tear it, you know, blow it apart. You don't need it. So I'm probably going to go with Milan. I'm going to go into Milan. They just okay. recently grabbed Milan, and I think Milan to be uh, – Come part of that opening partnership along with Mayank Argawal. Once you lose KO Raul, makes sense. We we almost almost had the same exact list. Almost. Now I I agree with you. The KO Raul, it's, it's like the MS Doni. He's got him. If if I'm the running the team, I gotta know what you're doing, my friend. So he I already said he play. wants out. He said he wants out. What okay. else does the guy got to do? Well, then I'm not gonna like you said. I'm not gonna take any risks. And if he said that. Bye. It sucks, right? But I, I know some teams, and not just IPL, just teams in general. I know some teams, right? They're gonna, they're gonna have that ego. We they say might. you leave when you leave, and they waste that money. We saw it with, uh, oh, with the guy with the Pittsburgh Steelers and everything. We've seen it before, right? Le'Veon Bell, Le'Veon Bell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have the same three guys you mentioned. If Carol was not there, Agarwal, Shami, Ravi Bishnoi. But the one I went with, and this guy's making himself a whole lot of money right now. A whole lot of money in the World Cup. And your boy Milan is not making himself a lot of money right now. No. And I'm talking about Chris Jordan. That's no. right. I said it. Chris Jordan. Look at the look at the overseas players they have. Fabian Allen, I like him a lot, right? Uh, Nicholas Perron, I've not even seen him exist in the IPL. But oh. Chris Jordan, oh, oh, he's making himself yeah. some money. Like Gabe says, the bag. I mean <laughs> – he is making some money right now. Oh, my God. Man, the match. He had two wickets again today. He is disgusting. And he is a death bowler. And they never use him, so they're not going to retain him. But I would. I you would. know what? They need to check those balls, all right? He's scuffing the balls. Sandpaper gate all over again. Hey, Checked under his hey. nails. Something. Hey. So, a guy doesn't go from being Confidential. Business. A guy doesn't go from being that bad to all of a sudden dominating and at the big hey. stage in the World Cup. Now, nah. who's I he hanging out with? It. Who's he hanging out with? My man, Chris Wokes. Come Chris on. Wokes. Chris yes. Wokes is the one as his bowling coach saying, "All right, now this is what you want to do. No more <laughs> he gets full all the credit. No more full tosses. All right, watch your line and length there. No more full tosses there, Jordan, because you get pumped every time you, you know try. What's crazy as full tosses were working today. Uh, what was that Sharjah? That was crazy. Oh so, man, it's. Yeah, you're right, what brother. Say? We got Rajasthan Royals coming up next. And this one's tough because you had some overseas players that were uh, were not there, right? Dang. And I didn't even put Josh Butler on the list here. I'm not sure how. Maybe he wasn't on there originally. So I'll make sure I add Josh Butler there. But Josh Butler is making himself a whole bunch of money right now. But right. this is where it's tough. Let me tell you who I had before I realized I didn't even have Josh Butler on there. I had right. Sanju Sampson, the captain. Right. I had Ben Stokes. Right. I had Tiagi because he was a monster this year. Nope. And I had Jice Wall because he was a monster. So I got to take Tiagi off there and right. add Josh Butler on there. But if I do that, okay, I have two overseas and two Indian players. So once again, another team that has two and two, but I've got to do it that way. I like Tiagi a lot, but he's got to be the first one off. 
for Josh Butler because I totally forgot about him. Yeah, this is another another team where I've sold out. My whole bowling is everything is gone. Not one bowler retained over here because I'm going with Sam Ju Samson. I'm going with Ben Stokes, Josh Butler, and his opening his partner in crime, the opener. Jice Wall. I love Jice Wall. You know, I've been talking about Jice Wall for two seasons. He was supposed to be my emergent player last year. Didn't get it. This year should win emergent player. If it wasn't for uh, who else went off this year, that was emergent player quality. Actually, Jice Wall might win it. I don't think anybody. Oh, no. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, um, Guy Quad still qualified as an emergent player this year. So Did for he me, still qualify? Oh, yeah, because he only played three games last year. Remember, they brought him up at the end. He hadn't bag. played at all. So, I mean, for me, dude, I think that this is one of those few teams where you're going to go in with no bowling. So whoever Mumbai doesn't keep, who I'm helping you guys out here, okay? Rajasthan Royals, Moneyball, Mr. Moneyball. This is the Moneyball team, by the way. They use sabermetrics. Love it. Get, keep, your, keep your sticks <laughs> and then go out and get some bowling. Nicholas, I'm leaving the next one up to you because this is your squad. This is your squad, mm. RCB. Who do you retain? I can't believe I just made that noise. I hate it when guys on sports shows go, mm, mm. sounds so weird. But who do I got for RCB? Oh, man. Obviously, Virat Kohli, not even a question. Obviously, Patty Cole. But then after that, it gets interesting, right? Because A.B. De Villiers was not the alien this year. And I'm not even sure if he wants to play moving right. forward. Maybe he does. I don't know. Shahal is one of their mainstays. Um, you got Pet- Purple Patel that showed up this year. You have right. Siraj, one of my favorites. You have yeah. Glenn Max. I mean, you have so many guys. Hasaranga is making himself a whole lot of money right now in the World Cup as well. Woo. But this is what I went with. Coley, Patico, as you like to say, Purple Patel, and Glenn Maxwell is my overseas player. That's why I went with Glenn Maxwell did not show up in the playoffs, but he really showed up and helped support Coley and Patico and A.B. in the lineup. Got to yeah. bring him back and hope that Lightning can strike twice. Paddy Cole's right. their future. Barack Cole is not going anywhere. And uh, Harshal Patel, how do you not retain him and pay that man and bring him back after that performance? Because right. even if it's a one-time wonder, even though he's been in the IPL for several years, you take that chance. But you're, you're leaving off Shahal. You're leaving off uh, A.B. De Villiers. You're leaving off Siraj. Oh, man. Tough situation. So for me, Nick, I went at this. I went at this strategically, right? So what I mean by strategic is, you know, right away it's Rock Coley, Patico, no questions asked. Then I'm going with Glenn Maxwell, the Big Show. So if I do that, I would be tempted to take Hasaranga, right? Because he's been amazing in the World Cup. He was, but you cannot play both Glenn Maxwell and Hasaranga because you know you're going to need at least one overseas pacer. You got to. So if, if, if that's the situation, you don't want to have a guy that you got to sit down or you can only play if somebody else plays. Now, again, this is a, 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 a situation if if we're talking about A.B. the Billiards not playing because if A.B. the Billiards plays, then you're in the, you're really up against it because you definitely are going to need uh, uh, um, you're definitely going to need um, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, domestic help with bowling, right? If ABD Villiers comes back, you definitely need domestic um, help with bowling. But let's say ABD Villiers doesn't come. Am I really going to go with Hasaranga, even though he's an all rounder, as my lead pacing, you know, guy to lead my uh, uh, um, bowlers? No. I'm probably going to go with a, another Kiwi like Kyle Jamison, who was that last, there last year, or NCN, or whoever doesn't get picked up on another team. So I went with Muhammad Saraj because the guy has pace, wow. and you're going to be able to, you, you know, you, you, you need the bowlers. He's either a good spinner or a good pacer. I think he's a good Not pacer. Not Purple Patel, huh? Not going with Purple Patel because he's, you know, the thing about Purple Patel is uh, a lot of people said, listen, the slow ball worked for him because of how slow the pitches were, especially out there in the UAE. But Purple Patel, although we think of him as a young guy, he's not really a young guy. He's been around for a while. He just wasn't good. All right. Siraj has done it for a while. So I'd rather have my up line, up front guy that's not quote unquote a specialist like Purple wow. Patel, who's supposedly going to be a, and I, the guy just won the purple cap. But me personally, I don't think they retain him. But that's me. Well, I mean, you can also look at that law of averages. The guy is not going to have back to back amazing seasons more than rightly. All right. Give me your SRH choices. SRH. SRH is uh this team again. They're all their best players. <laughs> all their best players are overseas. That's what's wrong with this team, brother. All their best players are overseas. It's 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 ridiculous what they did, and hopefully they build better. But 
with that being said, your best player is overseas, so you got to keep him. You're starting with Kane Williamson. That's going to be your captain. You got to keep up Rishi Khan, which means you got to let go of all your other overseas players like Johnny Barriso, like Jason Holder, because you can't play those guys. You can only keep two right now, like you said. It's got to be two and two. So I'm going to keep Nataranghen, all right? Nataranghen, the, 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 or people keep saying it's Nataranghen. The uh the Yorker specialist, right? He throws those Yorkers, you know, good in the death. You need bowling, and then man, it is so tough, Nick. I can, can I just say I don't want to keep another guy. I know I lose some of my my uh. uh you don't honestly, have to, yeah. you don't have to. Honestly, the rest of this team is trash, trash, you bro. Keep, you gotta pay. Yeah. Pondy, trash. Okay, Priam Grog, trash. All right, I'll do some trash. You know who I'm gonna keep. You know who I'm gonna keep. I was gonna. I I, I mean. Saha, because he's the wicket keeper, and it's hard to get a good wicket keeper. So I'm probably gonna keep Saha, but I don't even want to keep uh uh um Booby. Booby was just a shell of himself, and Booby did not look good the last time out with the international team. So to me, that's my four. So, sounds good. My very first choice is easy. It's Khalil Ahmed all day long. This guy's amazing. Now that's not a knock on Ahmed. That's a joke about myself because I had chosen to win it two years ago, oh. and I, I I still love this guy because of that pick. No, I didn't pick Ahmed. I started with Kane Williamson as well. I went to Rashid Khan as well. Two best players, overseas players is the problem. I went with uh, Natarajan. I think that's how you say it. Third, like you did. And then I went with Pandy just because I want an opener. I want a guy. He's usually number two. I want a guy who has some stability. And, you know, Saha's good. I didn't think even think about that. I saw his name right here. didn't even think about it. But I went with Pandy just a little more than Saha. Now, those are our retentions. Some teams may not retain four. Some may already retain three. We understand that um, just because a team doesn't retain a player doesn't mean they can't get that player back. It happens all the time. We understand that. But the most dangerous thing this year is you have those new franchises. They have until the 25th of December. They're going to take six. They're going to take six. And so when you leave your guy unprotected, there's a chance by – especially if he's on one of these teams that's just loaded right now. You can't guarantee that you can just outbid for him in the auction. So the auction is going to be fantastic. We're going to be covered on script for Americans. Here's a, I think I cut you off, Nick. Here's another thing that I did when I did my selections in mind. And I'm sure you did too, right? We b- both happen to pick a lot younger guys because you're building a franchise here for the next five plus years. It's not like they have mega auctions every year. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it'll be a couple years, like three years before or, or four before we even get a mini auction. So you got, that's why Donnie and oh gosh, I, just saying this is killing me. Donnie's got to say, am I actually going to be here another five plus years? Probably not. So it, you know what I mean? It's just such a, guys. You better CSK. be crossing your fingers and hoping. We're up against it. And I understood with going some of these younger players because of that. You know what I mean? There are going to be some older players that are left off, Nick. But I think that really, to Nick's point earlier, CSK, don't fool yourselves. We're up against it, okay? Vintage Iyer. There are some other nice guys that I liked on KKR. But Vintage Iyer is a young guy. You want the young guys because who's going to be good five years from now? That's why RCB, even if AB De Villiers wants to stay, how long do you get an AB De Villiers for? Two years, I mean, maybe one. You know what I mean? It's, it's tough, man. It even makes me think about my five uh, uh, pick, to be honest with you. But, you know, it's like. Well, he was ugh. going so strong. He doesn't play any international, so he rested up. You, you got to go with that. And he keeps himself in amazing shape. Um, I really think that Donny's done. I really do. Unless there's been an announcement he's made that I'm not aware of, which I'm not. Um, I think he's done. I think his mentoring with Team India right now is kind of like telling of him getting his feet wet, even though it's not working out too well for Team India. Oh, man. But uh, I don't say it's Donny's fault. But I think that he is such a team guy that if he's even thinking he's not going to go for the next two or three years, he's going to let him know, don't retain me. It's okay. Because uh, he knows he's got a spot there forever, no matter what happens. Right. And um, let us know your thoughts, guys. Don't forget to comment below. This is a longer video, but there's eight teams to go through. Let us know who you think is going to stay, who's going to be unprotected. Let us know also if you're a subscriber of both channels and if you would like to see Cricket Tuesday over on CFA or if you want to keep it here. Let us know. Comment below. And until next time. That's six rounds.